So, in my work, I use uh, participatory video as a as a research method uh, to produce knowledge. Uh, and I kind of rolled into it uh, by accident. It was not planned at all. And in a time, I, I, I even never heard of, of, of uh, participatory video. So how does a how does a researcher that before only liked to um, watch movies uh, start um, ended up making a movie, uh, or in better in my case became the producer of a movie? Uh, these are kind of the, the questions I will I will deal with, with today. Over the past five years, uh, I did 80 months of um, ethnographic fieldwork in Goma. Uh, it's a city of one million people in uh, the in Eastern, Eastern DRC, Eastern DR Congo. Uh, um, and I do research to so-called uh, so gangs and anti-gangs. Very shortly, my PhD research looks to um, how political subjectivities are formed, or simpler, uh, looks to the workings of power right, in a city like Goma through the lens of these gangs and anti-gangs. Important to note is that the word gang in Goma does not necessarily note, uh, uh, denotes criminal or criminal association but gang, they're pronounced as gang in French, uh, um, rather denotes like a personal quality centered around toughness. Uh, gangs are the tough, uh, marginalized guys of the neighborhoods uh, who smoke weed, who drink uh, strong liquor, and do not shy, shy away from any, anything or anyone in, uh, in order to get what they want. However, together with, uh, with my bobo, my bobo is a, a street kids in Kiswahili, uh, they're blamed for much of the everyday crime and violence uh, in the city, such as theft, uh, robbery, and extortion, uh, which is not completely wrong as well. So anti-gangs, and anti-gangs are sportif, uh, like they say in, in French, uh, which, which over there means that they are trained in martial arts, and they are gangs that transform themselves into anti-gangs, but stay gangs at the same time. They are a sort of vigilante type organization that see it as their mission, to protect the people from Goma against the uh, everyday violence and crime of um, street kids and other gangs. So, for example, you can do appeal on them uh, when your cell phone is stolen, um, or when you have trouble trouble in the neighborhood with, with street kids or with, with um, or with gangs. Um, but they also they're also solicited by the by the police, uh, by the army, by the intelligence services, for example, to look for wanted criminals uh, or by the municipal uh, authorities to to evict to evict so-called. Uh, pirate markets, uh, in, informal markets, if, if, if you like. Also, in the recent uh, manifestations against, against Kabila, uh, the former president of uh, the DRC, they often stood side by side uh, by the police, and, um, or in front of the police, uh, waving their nunchucks at, uh, at, uh, at the protesters. So, in return for their, their protection, they uh, ask for a weekly contribution of 200 uh, francs congolais, it's like uh, 20 euro cents, of every uh, shop and uh, vendor in their, in their territory, basically. So, that's it. That's kind of uh, shortly introduced what, uh, what, these, what, these, what these guys are. But at a certain point, um, during my, my research, uh, one, of them, one of them asked me, uh, Martijn, can't, can't we do a film? Uh, can't we make a fiction film? on our lives as, as gangs and uh, sportif, eh, being trained in martial arts in Goma. And to me it made a, it, 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 it made a lot of sense, eh, because a, a sentence that I often heard when I, when I, when I was hang, hanging out with them was, my life is like a movie, or I'm, I'm living movies, eh, after which they start to explain, uh, for example, fights with, uh, with, 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 with the other gangs yesterday, or, or encounters with the police, true martial arts and, and action movies, genre Bruce Lee, Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, and so on. So they start to, this fight with the police was like in this scene of, um, of uh, Enter the Dragon, blah, blah, blah. And, they, and they, they start to explain their lives through these movies. In fact, in, in their everyday lives, and in, in the, in, in their, also in their, in their kind of like in their quest for, uh, for masculinity, for modernity, uh, they, they, they appropriate this, this, this kind of um, imagery of uh, the kung fu film and martial arts action movies, uh, like uh, with, with from Bruce Lee to, to, to Jean-Claude Van Damme, Chuck Norris, right now also uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, and so they appropriate this imagery and they, stay, they, they kind of domesticate it, they kind of start to do uh, their, their, their own thing with it. So like, they're all trained in the martial arts, of which the techniques they learn immediately from these, from these movies, and the leader of this gang, they are um, met, they call maître masters, masters in the, in the, in the, in the martial arts. Uh, they train in, in, in temples, and they also get like, uh, they, 
kind of like get like a moral code out of these movies. And then, um, like for example, like 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 Bruce Lee, uh, you need you, you also need to be humble when you when you when you know martial arts. You can't you can't just go and kick everyone in the face. Uh, like, uh, but if you if you if you know uh, martial arts, especially to people that don't know martial arts, you, you should uh, be very humble and not start start fight, fighting as easily. For example, it's really a thing. It's it's not it's not that I'm inventing this. For example. Also in the in the colonial period, uh, the first one of the first movies, uh, popular movies that uh, colonials introduced to um, a Congolese audience uh, was uh, the western, uh, because it was like the, the white man on the on the, on the horror staying the wild west. It was kind of like uh, we the Belgians were doing in the African frontier, uh, according to them as well. Um, so and suddenly all these gangs that started to wear. Uh, cowboy cowboy hoods and they, their leader was a sheriff and they started so they appropriate this imagery and they, and, and then they start 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 to live it in a way so they are living movies draw from uh, the imagery of martial arts and action movies and now they propose to make a movie uh, they propose to make to make a fiction uh, themselves uh, their own martial arts uh, action movie so i said yes and we started to make uh, the movie they claim to live so there was one problem. I did not know anything about how to how to make a film. Uh, I'm not a filmmaker. I'm a, I'm a I'm a researcher. So I started to collaborate with a, a Congolese filmmaker called uh, T.D. Jack, um, who uh, who I kind of basically uh, engaged uh, to to make their movie. Uh, so we went to them. They wrote a the script or explained us a script, and we recorded it. And, and then um, uh, they, they then then. T.D. Jack, this filmmaker, he, uh, he kind of uh, helped them to, to, to make it into scenes. Um, then, yeah, also they play their own role. The leader of the gang was also the, the, the director on the set. And also after edi every editing, we, um, we, went, we went through them and we, we said, is this fine or not? And should we change something? And what should be changed and so on? So the result is a movie, uh, Street Life, right? the title they chose as well. So, but yeah, I don't know if everyone was there, so I will very quickly, briefly explain what they, what they did, the story of the movie. Basically, the, 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 the movie tells the story of uh, Batman, uh, Batman, based on the life of the, of the actor uh, that plays uh, Batman. So he just comes out of prison, and coming out of prison, he says, I'm done with crime. Uh, so I'm, I'm now going to put my, my strength, uh, street wiseness, and connections in the gang world uh, in service of the population. Uh, at, the same, at the same time, however, in the movie, he shows that he's still one of the big uh, uh, cannabis tra traffickers in the city. But he, he, he wanted to show this because uh, to show that he's not harming people. Selling cannabis, you, you, if you're selling cannabis, get your money from cannabis, uh, then, then you're not robbing people at home and so on. Um, during the film, then, Batman is, and his gang, they help the neighborhood chief, like a municipal authority. Uh, to get rid of uh, of the Bazulu and the Bazulu are the bad guys in the film, and they um, uh, they're a gang of thieves and, and robbers. And like many other, uh, like all martial arts movies, the, the the film the film ends with an epic battle between the good and the bad uh, guys, the good and the bad martial arts uh, master. Now, how how do I use it in my work? Why why is it interesting for me as a researcher? Uh, to, to make this movie, oh, what, 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 because, uh, what do I do with it, basically? So basically I'm trying to write, now I'm trying to write my PhD uh, through the movie, like through the movie and in communication uh, with the movie, but what they show and what they perform uh, in this movie. And why, first of all, like uh, the, the, when I came back from my first, first fieldwork period and I found myself behind my desk um, trying to write down my first uh, academic uh, article, a, a thought that constantly crossed my mind that was very frustrated, and I just thought, like, you need to see it. You know, like, uh, each, each culture, each, each person within uh, uses an entire sensory repertoire uh, to convey messages. And why then should we, we as academics only write, you know? Uh, like, uh, reduce experiences into text and observations into, into words. To fully understand what, what these guys are doing, how they, how they shape their political subjectivity, how they do policing, uh, one, should, one, should, one, should see their, one should see their muscles, one should see how they move, how they talk, how they dress, how they look into someone, somebody's eyes, when, um, uh, and, and so on. It's, it's about style, it's about aesthetics, it's, uh, it's about appearance as well. It's, it, it, it's, it's a big well, part, to, uh, it's very important to understand what these guys, guys are doing, I think. Secondly, the, the making of this film gives them a stage 
uh, give them a stage where they can do, 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 do everything they want uh, and show everything they want uh, the way they want it. So for me as a researcher, it's very interesting. So what, what will they communicate to their, their audience? Uh, in the first place, uh, their audience is people in Goma uh, that, will, uh, that, that will see the movie. Uh, how, do, how do they want to portray themselves uh, and represent themselves as anti-gangs and, 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 and why? And how do they imagine themselves, basically? So what they did in Street Life is theatrically uh, enlarging, performing um, everything they find very important and meaningful about being an anti-gang. Um, they, yeah, for example, I don't know if you saw that in, in, in real life they, they roll a joint like this, but now they, in the movie they roll a joint like this, for example. Uh, or or they, they, they're very like they're, they're, they're martial arts guys and so on, but now the, the guy protecting the gate is uh, in a, in a mar martial arts uh, outfit, like in a karate outfit, and he, he makes a jump before opening the door and so on. So it's, uh, it's about this. Yeah, they, they basically they stress very theatrically theatrically, a bit over the top that they are gangs, martial arts guys, that they are good on good terms with the state, that they, they even kind of act state-like at, at, at some point. And the message that they seek to communicate through the film is that because they were previously bad people, because they are gangs, because they are sportifs uh, trained in the martial arts, uh, they can be of use, they can help the government to bring peace and order uh, in, their, in their understanding to the neighborhood. Plus, they can give a job to marginalized youth, you know, like uh, if they are anti-gangs, they're not, they're not gangs. Uh, so uh, that otherwise, they would commit crimes. All these things, I also noticed during my observation and interviews, but it was always like from my gaze as a researcher, making this film, uh, to quote uh, uh, Johannes Fabian, uh, Tessa will maybe talk more about it, uh, uh, it, was, it was much more them that, that, uh, that called the tunes and me that played along them showing um, me what is important for them, and eh? not me asking. In some, in my work, I see the movie Street Life we made as a performance of their everyday uh, political performance, eh? where they try to car carve out a political space for themselves as, as, as uh, policing actors. It's a reflexive exercise in which, in which they actively, and eh? not faithfully, uh, mirror their own life, life world the way they see, see fit, kind of like in a mirror pal palace. And it's, it's exactly this mirroring exercise that makes this film, for me, uh, ethnographically exciting. And uh, thank you very much. I will stop here. Yep.